along to Bishop's Court to actually catch up with the Bishop uh, about um, what went on obviously in Manchester mm -hmm. and, and how it's obviously got such an impact on the Isle of Man. Mm -hmm. uh, you've taken a special interest in this and, and sent out a message to the churches. Yes, the Bishop of Manchester actually originally said that um, he'd like all the churches in his diocese to pray for particularly for those who've, who've lost uh, loved ones, but also for the state of society when this kind of thing happens. And um, he, he or one of his colleagues wrote a prayer, and we thought that that was a good prayer to circulate uh, around the churches of the Isle of Man too. So we asked everybody to use it today, and people, I think, have been praying that prayer. It's really touched a lot of people, obviously, and as I said earlier, it's, it has got this local connotation, but even without that, it would still affect people. But the Isle of Man seems to be drawn into these things in so many ways. Yes, it does, isn't it? Well, I suppose we're, um, we're mar a maritime nation, really, aren't we? So we get everywhere, and uh, it's, it's fantastic, really, to see that a police officer with, with such high regard for her um, uh, was serving in Manchester in, obviously, very tough conditions. And... Um, it's fantastic that people have been able to make such great tributes of her in, in such awful circumstances. And have a lot of people contacted you about this this week? A lot of people have contacted various clergy. Yes, some have contacted me, some have cl contacted, for instance, the Vicar of Russian, who I think has made contact with the family. And, and uh, yes, the churches, churches always come right into the fore when this kind of thing happens. So you sent out a, an email, I believe it was done electronically this morning, to ask everyone to do it, and, and they have? Yes, yeah, we, we sent it out on Friday, actually, and uh, yes, I think, as far as I know, it's been used in all the churches today, yeah. And we're here at Bishop Court, where you're about to preside, and it will be read out shortly here. Yes, right? yes, Malcolm Combrey, who's taking the service uh, at Bishop's Court this afternoon, he'll be using it too, and uh, it just shows that w we're all affected by this, and deeply sad as it is for the family and the friends, um, it affects us all. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for all who at this time mourn Fiona and Nicola, who have been tragically killed while serving the public, and we ask for your comfort and strength to be especially with their loved ones and colleagues. As we pray also for those who continue to be in danger from this violence, we give thanks for the constant courage and devotion to duty of the police and all who take risks to protect our communities. May they be strengthened for the tasks they face and supported in the commitment they give, that they may further the well-being of all people and enable our society to be loving, just, and at peace. We ask this in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.